Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, so we had a pretty good weekend. We got home on Friday. Um, my my wife and uh, four of my kids went to a birthday party, and me and my son Damien. We got to hang out for a little while. We went and had dinner actually with my mother and my sister on Friday night. And then Saturday we went to see the new Avengers at the theaters. Um, and then after the movies we went uh, and rode, did uh, go-kart races. Uh, which was actually pretty cool. I've, I've never done it before. Um, hang on my mind's going a mile an hour trying to think of what I got to do and then I got that on my mind to get that done and trying to think of what I'm trying to say um, but we did pretty good unfortunately uh, unfortunately and fortunately they separate the the kids and the adults because well, the adults are a little more aggressive and um, I mean it, it makes sense I, I don't I mean I it would have been nice to have been able to run inside by side with my son in the in the track it's a small little track um, I think I got a picture of the track I'll put that up right now if I have it uh, but he ended up racing with some other guy. He won. Um, it was the guy. I think the guy was 18, but he forgot his license, so they had to put him in the younger group. Um, so that was kind of funny. But he, my son ended up winning out of the two of them. And then I went right after my son, so I didn't get to do any video footage. Uh, because they were prepping me while he was racing uh, so that kind of pissed me off but either way we had a bunch of fun doing it I lost I got like fifth place out of the adults uh, what it did better but they ended up stopping us because the one girl wanted to get off and then another the other girl that was like right behind me she ended up getting right in front of me when they after they stopped us uh, right in the middle of the race um, and then I, I kept getting worried that I was gonna hit her and it was my first time on the track but you know after a few laps I got pretty used to it but I wasn't overconfident with it yet um, and then the first two guys that placed uh, first and second they I mean they, they were there every single day they, they must have been um, they <laughs> to the point where they brought their own helmets I thought that was pretty comical, you know, 40 year old men just riding go-karts every single day. But either way, we had fun, hung out with the wife on Mother's Day, um, got her van finished and then found out the either the, the brake booster or the... Nope, not for me. Uh, brake booster or um, the other piece that comes off of the booster. And I'm not going to remember the name off the top of my head right now. Uh, but one of those are bad. We went and test drove the van um, up the road. It was it ran fine. Uh, I don't think I told you guys, but we've been pretty much waiting all winter to do her van. We had to change the spark plugs in it. But in order to change the spark plugs, you pretty much got to rip the entire top of the motor off. Um, you got to take the whole windshield wiper and assembly and everything out, the whole cowl out. You got to pull the uh, intake plenum off just to get to the back side of the motor. And I wasn't standing out there and... 20 degree temperatures trying to do that so we just borrowed my uh, my mother's truck 
for up until now. But when I took the t took it for the test drive yesterday, I uh, went to go stop at the driveway and the brakes just went right to the floor and it just took forever to get it to stop sitting there pumping them and pumping them. And then when I pumped it, it would slow down. I thought I had blown a brake line. Um, but after pulling into the driveway, getting underneath, checking it out, there was no leaks or anything like that. So it's either got to be the booster or it's got to be the other piece there. I'm not going to remember the name. <laughs> It'll come to me. Um, so that's it. That's pretty much the whole weekend that we had. Uh, I sat at home yesterday, which was Monday. Um, pretty much didn't do anything. Just watched TV. Just kind of relaxed before I came back out today. Um, my wife's present showed up yesterday instead of Saturday or Friday, which is what I preferred. But um, at least it showed up. Uh, nice necklace. I'll throw that picture up right here. Uh, so that's it for that. Uh, Budman's not with me this week. I might do like an every other week thing. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I didn't mind getting out and walking him. Um, he did great with sleeping, which is one of the biggest things I was worried about. Uh, the second thing I was worried about was the walking. I had no problems with that. Um, I think the biggest problem I had with having him on the truck was uh, the shedding. And right now he's getting rid of that winter coat and... Uh, I think that's, I mean, I'm looking at my seat right now and it's just covered in hair. So I, I think that that's my biggest problem with having him on the truck. So we'll probably try again next week or the week after. Um, it's not only an adjustment for me to get used to having him on the truck, it's also an adjustment for him not being at home. And uh, we, we pretty much keep him, we have him kennel trained. Um, so anytime we leave the house or at night, we usually lock him up in the kennel uh, just so that he can't terrorize the house. Um, actually, the last couple nights, we've been leaving him out of the kennel because he's been doing really good. He did really good on the truck. Um, so we're trying, trying different things with him now. But I, I, don't, I don't see it being a... Um, permanent thing with him being on the truck with me uh, but I am I do think I'm going to be taking him out a lot more than um, than I have well just the one time that I've already taken him out it's more than I have but I think I, I think I'm a, I'm looking at doing it every other week and see how that goes um, if not, maybe, uh, maybe one, one week a month or, um, you know, one week out, two weeks at home and one, another week out, we'll skip, you know, skip two weeks and then take them out for a week. Um, and then when the winter time comes around, I'll probably just leave them at home, but we'll see. It's a, it's a new, it's a trial and error thing. So right now we are getting ready, uh, just waiting our turn, picking up at um, the pipe yard down here in Endicott. Same load I've done several times. The last time they loaded me, it was six o'clock at night. I didn't get out of here until eight something. Uh, they gave me that six o'clock option last night when I called about the load. And I told her, I said, I'd like to load around noon. Uh, and that's just because I like to get out of the house. You know, we usually drop my son off at school about nine o'clock in the morning. My youngest, well, my youngest that goes to school. Um, and then I usually have the wife drop me off and I get everything ready and I just kind of ease into the morning. Um, so I try, I usually try to grab this load around noon because it's two hours away from the house. 
Um, and then, but when she called me back last night, she didn't have a noon. They didn't have a noon. They had a 9.30 in the morning or they had a uh, 6 o'clock at night. 5 or 6 at night. I don't remember which one it was. So I'll take the 9.30. So I left the truck stop 7 o'clock this morning to get this load. Um, and right now it's, we got here at 8.50. It's 9.08 now. So they should be getting to me any time now. This load's going up to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And then I'm picking up another load up there. In Bay City. Coming back over to New York, over by Albany. Uh, between the two loads, I'm going to average $2.25 a mile. No. I think it was two thirty-five. I think it was 235 a mile, uh, all miles. Um, the next the next load pays really good. This one's only about a dollar, I think a dollar eighty, dollar eighty loaded or dollar eighty all miles. I don't remember exactly. I'll try to break it down um, at the end of the week. Or you know, after after I finish up my next run, I'll have the actual miles. I'll try to break it. Remember, I'll try to remember to break it down for you guys. So that's it for now. There she is. Funny looking load, but it'll do. It's different stuff on the other side too. And here's the other side. All right, we're ready to go. We got 654 miles to delivery. Uh, I'm gonna be stopping about 80 miles, grab some fuel, just enough to get me over into Ohio, uh, Perry's, Perrysville, Perrysburg, something like that over there, uh, right off of 270. Flying J over there is usually the, the cheapest. I'll pull up prices in a little bit here. Um, we got a total of 19,241 uh, pounds, nice and light. Uh, the next load's not quite as light, so this makes up for a little bit of the, the lower pay on this load, um, which is still like $2 a mile. No, it's not. It fell in under $2 a mile, like $1.80 a mile. Roughly, uh, I think I'm down to like a dollar seventy a mile, um, all miles on this load. Um, with my deadhead, deadhead was a hundred, about a hundred and ten miles roughly. But it's a nice, it's a light load. It's you know twenty thousand pounds, so it's not going to burn up as much fuel. The next load is coming in, they're calling 48,000, so it'll probably be between 45 and 47,000. That one's lumber. Uh, but like I said before, I'm looking at roughly 225 a mile on all miles for both loads. But I'll have that calculation done uh, Friday, Friday evening. Drama you clench your fist, she gives you a hug Tell you she loves you, but you've been drinking too much But you don't quit, instead you rather fuss Then take it to the point to where she can't get up And it makes you feel sick, it breaks your heart Cause you never meant for it to go this far Plus you got a kid who has to live with the scars And can only see you whenever this bar
ain't seen him laugh in a long time Seems life abandoned him to the wrong side Remember the night they split and we all cried I think for certain a large part of my heart died They brought me up thinking life was rainbows and sunshine Grew up to find the time blues that they all died For so long convinced themselves we were all fine But the night he came back at 3am again was the last time Alcohol consuming his breath Mom said, don't you think of taking a step in this house? Told you last time, one more time, and you're out. So what now? It's our family worth less to you than the night black and now. Slam the door. And then she dropped to the floor. Tears streaming down her face, said, I can't do it no more. Said, I tried to be strong for you. Keep the family together. But it's healthier this way, and in the end, we'll be better. You clench your fist, she gives you a hug. Tell you she loves you, but you've been drinking too much. But you don't quit, instead, you rather fuss. Then take it to the point to where she can't get up. And it makes you feel sick, it breaks your heart. Cause you never meant for it to go this far. Plus, you got a kid who has to live with the scars. And can only see you whenever this bars. I need a man. Don't you worry, no, that won't be us She said, I'd like to know that But there's not much I trust It's confusing, cause I used to know Their love that was And it all went downhill In just a matter of months She said, you grow up fast When your fantasies die And nothing comes of wishing on the stars in the sky What if it runs in my jeans? What if I do it to you? Your heart's been broken before Don't let me be the next bruise I said, what if the stars brought us together To bring your fantasies back And you're a beautiful soul Why you been thinking like that? You're not like that Seen it in many a chat You're your own damn person You are not your dad He made mistakes And you learn from them I've made my mistakes Do what I earned from them so we both know what love can be So let's bring back the fantasies Grab my hand, we're right where we're supposed to be You clench your fist, she gives you a hug Tell you she loves you, but you've been drinking too much But you don't quit, instead you rather fuss Then take it to the point to where she can't get up And it makes you feel sick, it breaks your heart